Friday. So we're allowed to fly again. Um, super awesome to get up there and see what's going on on Yukon Striker. Um, the bad news is nothing's going on on Yukon Striker. Um, it seems like there's nothing on site. It seems like everything's been cleared out. Um, there's no cranes. Um, I don't see any construction equipment whatsoever either. Um, yeah, I don't see anything at all, to be honest. I see one tiny yellow piece of construction equipment over by uh, the vertical loop area. Um, and I can't even make out what it is because it seems really small. Um, I don't see any of the excavators. Um, I don't see any of the bulldozers. I don't see any cranes. I don't see anything but people moving around. Um, there are a lot of people down there on the construction site. Um, so I don't know what that means, but there's no construction activity whatsoever that I can make out. Um, I can make out what looks like the entrance sign over by the brake run. Um, I don't know if that's where the entrance is going to take place, but it is a very large structure that has gone vertical slash is very wide. And from what I'm expecting of Yukon Strikers entranceway, it's going to be some sort of grand waterfall-ish um, entrance similar to Flying Canoes, not Flying Canoes, um, Soaring Timbers, I always get them mixed up now. Um, on top of that, I'm guessing or I'm expecting um, some cool effects with Yukon Striker. Again, I think that the train colors are not going to be anywhere close to what the animation showed. Um, I think yellow is going to end up being gold. I think there's still going to be some burgundy. I don't think it's going to be red. So I think you're going to see um, a lot of brown, like a golden eagle. Golden eagle, a lot of gold, like a golden eagle, and the red. Um, I don't think you're going to see any decals or like leviathanized type stuff on the train. I think they're going to stick to just making them look like golden eagles. I think they're going to look very different from Val Ravens, yet similar at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, but yes, uh, that's all I can really say about what's going on with Yukon Striker right now. Again, the trains are not going to look like the animation whatsoever. They're going to look like Golden Eagle-esque um, type things. The colors are going to be very different. They're going to be gold, um, brown beige, uh, burgundy red, um, and then some black in there, I believe. And uh, nothing going on with Yukon Striker whatsoever. Like, no construction equipment other than the one driving away from the site actually right down there. Um, but yeah, very interesting what's going on. I have no clue what's going on whatsoever, so I can't even begin to predict. Um, the vertical loop is not complete. They have one support column up for the vertical loop. Um, and the vertical loop literally has four more pieces to be installed. And then Yukon Striker trackwise is done. So th there's just been a halt in construction, I guess, from what I'm seeing here. Um, nothing that I could begin to predict on or speculate or uh, give you a proper answer on. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this construction update that's not a construction update because there is no construction um don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy thanks for watching guys have a good one bye